For me, when I talk about method transfer, I mean the transfer of one particular method, likely already validated, to another HPLC system. This system can be in another laboratory, at another site, or even on another continent. Most HPLC users already experience that it's sometimes not that easy to transfer a method. There are a lot of aspects that play a role in that. For example, if two different persons need to prepare exactly the same mobile face or buffer, uh, but also differences in the instrumentation may make it difficult to uh, transfer a method and come to the same result. The gradient delay volume is an important parameter in method transfer. It's the volume between the point of mixing in the pump until the column inlet. Um, it's a very important parameter that needs to be considered, but it's not the only one that needs to be taken care of. Besides the gradient delay volume, the way the column and the mobile face is thermostated can play a critical role for the success of method transfer because the selectivity in chromatography depends on the temperature. There are two ways on the market uh, how to thermostat the column and to preheat the mobile face and the way this is done may have an impact on the actual temperature inside the column. The pre-column dispersion volume of a system is also very important. For older systems this volume was often pretty high. This made the systems less efficient, but on the other hand, it enabled the injection of strong sample solvents, stronger than the alliant itself. Transferring such a method to a modern, more efficient system may cause bad peak shapes. Now we are introducing the Thermal Scientific Vanquish Core HPLC system. This is very exciting because it empowers HPLC analysts to do method transfer faster and easier. For this purpose, we designed a system that allows to seamlessly adjust the gradient delay volume by installing two separate flow paths as well as making use of the metering device of the autosampler. The latter one is usually only used to aspirate the sample, but we can also use it to fine-tune the gradient delay volume on a microliter scale. In total, this allows us to adjust the gradient delay volume over a wide range without any modifications to the gradient table. Additionally, we have the only column compartment which can operate in two different thermostatic modes, which can be easily switched by a single mouse click. Last but not least, user-defined programs allow for in-needle dilution of strong solvent samples. This is a remedy for peak distortions due to solvent mismatches.